Wait until you see this. It's an up-close look at U.S. Navy SEALs like you've never seen before. Our next guest was granted exclusive access to follow these elite fighters from basic training to the battlefield, and he's captured the amazing images in a new book. It's called United States Naval Special Warfare, and photojournalist Greg Matheson joins us to tell us all about it. Hi, Greg. Morning, Allison. Thanks for being here bright and early. Thank we you. appreciate you making yep. the drive from Washington, D.C. to show us all of this. So why did you want to document these guys and follow them around. No one's ever done a book that shows everything they do. They've shown, shown pieces and bits and pieces of them over the years. Um, but nobody's ever done the entire history. And this goes back to World War II all the way up to the future. These guys are notoriously private, mm -hmm. secret. How did you get access to them? Well, first off, it's not just the SEALs. It's all of Naval Special Warfare. The SEALs are about 2,400 special operators. There's about 20 support personnel for every SEAL out there. But it took a lot of uh, getting to know the right people and uh, our, our, our staff out here are former SEALs themselves, including the Admiral who used to be in charge. You persuaded them, obviously. So let's look at some of the pictures. Tell us about some of the really notable moments. What are we seeing here? This is a historic image. Back in the early 60s, when Eisenhower helped get these guys started, they actually had atomic bombs, uh, miniature bombs about the size of a basketball. Yeah. And they would be deployed around the world with these things. They would jump out of a plane carrying this thing strapped to them. Wow. Weighed about 160 pounds. And there were no nuclear codes at that point. These guys would just take these around the globe. And if the president said, take out a harbor or do something like that, they were never used. And they don't have many more. But it was the world's smallest atomic bomb at that point, about the size of a basketball. What a story. That's intense. All right, let's see, let's see some other pictures. What are we seeing in this shot? This is uh, the night that Osama bin Laden was killed. I was down at the White House that evening, and uh, the crowds just kept coming out from Georgetown University all over. The local people were just mobbing outside the White House. Before the president even made the announcement, there were thousands of people out there celebrating, singing the national anthem. It was a great time. Since you were on the inside with the SEALs, how important was that moment to them? Um, I'm not sure they even really saw a lot of that stuff because a lot of the SEALs were really busy out there doing things. Right. Um, yeah, they was, don't stop to sort no. of revel in the glory, do they? No, they don't. Yeah. Uh, so what, was, what surprised you? Uh, the amount of things that these guys can do. They're, they are America's James Bonds. If you look at the documents we've got declassified and stuff here, they have so much gadgets and equipment. Uh, the skill level of these guys, an average SEAL out there, uh, has a degree in college, an enlisted guy. He may speak a couple different languages. Uh, their re-enlistment bonuses are tremendous. Uh, and there's women out there, too. The women who support the SEALs are in the field with these guys, and they go through training as well. Not the SEAL training, but they learn automatic weapons and how to do tactics and other things. Wow. Well, they're just incredible. And it's nice that they're coming. it's coming to light now. I mean, they have really toiled in not obscurity, but complete secrecy. And lately with movies and your book, it's nice that they're getting some of the credit they deserve. Well, they like to be hidden and quiet out there. And, and so... Well, they're real heroes, and the book is wonderful. Again, the United States Naval Special Warfare, U.S. Navy SEALs. Where can people find it? At uh, SEALbook.com. SEALbook.com. I'll tweet it out. The Greg Matheson, thanks so much for showing it to us. Thank you.